Alright, now that we have got the One UI 4.0 on this gorgeous looking mean monster, the Note 10 Plus, let's check out some of the features which did not make it to this deserving phone. I'm also presuming that these features would not have made it to the S10 series either. So you guys let me know about that in the comment section below. While you do that, let's get that like meter rolling. The target is 500 likes for this video. Show me some support, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. The first one is extra dim feature. As you can see on the Note 20 Ultra, we have got this brand new feature called Extra Dim which can lower the brightness much below the lowest default level available on the system settings. This will come in handy in completely dark environments in which we can avoid eye strain. Unfortunately, this feature did not make it to these deserving phones. I wish Samsung could push this to Note 10 and S10 series at least in the upcoming updates. Perhaps with One UI 4.1. Now the second one is Volume Monitor feature. Now this feature has been available on Note 20 series all this while, this has not arrived on Note 10 and S10 series. Let me show you where is this feature on Note 20 Ultra. Let's tap on settings, then digital well-being and parental control. Scroll down to see under comfort care we have volume monitor. This feature helps us monitor volume levels to keep our ears safe. Now let's go to settings here on the Note 10 Plus, digital well-being and parental control. We do not have comfort care section here and no volume monitor option either. Alright, now the third one is object eraser feature. This is one of the important features which is still missing on Note 10 and S10 series. This object eraser is an editing feature inside the gallery application which enables the system to remove any unwanted object from an image just by a tap. Samsung made this feature available on the Note 20 series and S20 series but not on the S10 and Note 10 series. That was really unfortunate. Now the fourth feature which is missing is in the Bixby routine section. Let's go to settings on Note 20 Ultra. Let me tap on advanced features. Let's go to Bixby routines. Now let me tap on add routine. Under if condition let me tap on this plus button. Here you can see we have got driving mode option here. When I tap on this, the driving mode will be auto detected when it is connected to the Bluetooth inside the car and we can set the then condition for these routines. This is a handy feature which is available on the Note 20 Ultra's One UI 4.0 which will help us automate things on your phone as and when you get into your car. Now let's go to settings on Note 10 Plus. I'll tap on advanced features, Bixby routines, add routines, now when I tap on this plus button, we do not have driving option here. So this has not arrived on the Note 10 Plus and I'm sure even on the S10 series, this feature wouldn't have been made available yet. You guys check and let me know in the comment section if you have this feature on your Bixby routine section on your phone. Okay, now the last one is dual recording mode which was made available on Note 20 Ultra last year, did not make it to its predecessors yet. Like we did not get the director's mode on Note 20 Ultra, even on Android 12, Samsung did not push the dual recording feature to Note 10 and S10 series. Samsung certainly wants to keep all these features reserved for the latest devices so that people could upgrade. Of course they are in business so we should understand this model instead of seeking each and every feature on the older flagships. Having said that, we as a customer would love to see these new features on the older flagships at least for 3 years as we are getting the major Android upgrades for 3 years. So why not get these minor features? That is definitely not cool from Samsung. Anyways, this is what we have got. Let me know if there are any other features missing on your S10 or Note 10 series. Drop a comment and while you do that, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. That is going to encourage me a lot to come up with some amazing contents for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I have made multiple videos on all the features available on One UI 4.0 separately. So if you want to check those videos out, all the links are in the description. Go ahead and check it out so that you get to know each and every feature of One UI 4.0 in detail. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.